Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a square and inside the square, a line of length 5 is inside the square and it is extended outwards and with dimensions of 2 and 3 respectively as shown and forms a right triangle on each side. We are required to find the area of the blue square. But before we go to the solution, may I request you to please like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Okay, so first thing that we need to do is we need to draw a line from this point of one of the two triangles. Then from this, if we draw a line there, then we can have this length. Let us call that as A. And this length also. Let us call that as B. And this length. Let us call this as C. Okay, so as you can see, the sum of the lengths of A, B, and C sum up to be the side of the square. So we can say that S or the side of the square is equal to A plus B plus C. Next is we notice that the lengths A, B, and C are the shorter legs of these three right triangles. Uh, 3, 5, and 2 respectively. So we can say that since they are in proportion, they have the same ratio. So we can say that A over 3 is equal to B over 5 is equal to C over 2. Okay, so next is we focus on the right triangle that is inside the blue square, the one with the hypotenuse of 5. So we can say that 5 square is equal to S square, which is the le dimension or the side of the blue square, S square plus B square. Or we can say that B square plus A square is equal to 5 square. We just, okay, so now that we got this relationship by Pythagorean theorem between the length B and the length S, then it is best that we use again the equation S is equal to a plus B plus C, but we need to express A in terms of B and C in terms of B. So by doing that, we can say that from the previous ratio we got, then we have A over 3 is equal to B over 5, or A is equal to 3 over 5 times B. That is A. And for C, we have C over 2 is equal to B over 5. So C is equal to 2 over 5 of B. Okay, so next is we use this equation S is equal to A plus B plus C. And S is equal to, since A is equal to 3 over 5 of B plus B plus C, which is equal to 2 fifths of B, then we have 3 fifths plus 2 fifths is equal to 1. So this becomes B. And we need to add the B here. So we have S is equal to 2B. Okay, now going back to the Pythagorean theorem that we got earlier, uh, S squared plus B squared equal to 
by x squared. But earlier also, a while ago, we got s is equal to 2b. So a squared plus, since s is equal to 2b, then b is equal to s over 2. So we have to square that is equal to 5 squared. So we can actually simplify this by s squared plus s squared over 4 equal to 5 squared. But actually, we are looking only for s squared, which is the area of the square. So s squared, we can simply factor it out, and we have 1 plus 1 fourth is equal to 5 squared. So if we simplify further, then we have s squared is equal times 5 over 4 is equal to 5 squared. So s squared is equal to 5 squared divided by 5 over 4. Then we simply cancel this and this. And the 4 will go up since it will be inverted by multiplication since we are dividing by fraction. So s squared is equal to 5 times 4 or s squared is equal to 20 square units. And that is our answer. That is the area of the square. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you would like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.